Hello everyone, this is Puka and welcome to the 8th and final Swiss round of the Illinois State Championship. We have a battle between the only two remaining undefeated players here. Tom Stanky, the guy who's just been steamrolling the competition all day long on camera with his Garbador deck, is going to go up against Steven Matz, a player from the area as well. Uh, he has not had a real breakout performance yet, but he does consistently well at these tournaments. All he seems to know to uh, go like X and 1, X and 2 through Swiss, and he always seems to make top cut. So a solid player, and we'll see how he does here. We've actually featured him on camera before in a match, and we're going to see how he does this time as well. As we're going to get started here, and Tom opens with a double Tarakian. I have not seen that in a very long time. We hardly even see people play two Tarakians anymore. But Tom's going to open with two of them, and we'll see what he can make of this start. Now, uh, looks like Steven's going to be playing a Blastoise Caldeo deck, probably with Black Kyrim, because we see the Lightning Energy in his hand. Tom is going to Ultra Ball. He's going to get rid of a Switch, which is kind of a painful card to discard with your Garbodor deck in the opening turns, because, well, everything in your deck has a gigantic retreat cost. Uh, we'll see if that comes back to bite him. He also discards an N. I'm not sure if he has another supporter in his hand. I would assume he does. But, uh, yeah, kind of a, a costly discard. Something interesting to note with this Garbodor deck is, yeah, you play Ultra Ball since it's so, well, good. It, it grabs any Pokemon. But in the Garbodor deck, it really does not uh, function very well in the early parts of the game because, honestly, what cards do you want to get rid of in this kind of a matchup? Or in any matchup, like, what, what extra cards can you discard? Normally, you're going to have to discard useful cards, whereas in other decks, you know, like electric decks, you can Ultra Ball, discard energy, it helps you out. Blastoise decks, you don't mind discarding energy. You can just play energy retrieval for them. You know, most decks, uh, Darkrai, I guess, is the biggest one. You need to discard Dark Energy for Dark Patch. But for Garbodor, it's like, what what do I discard with Ultra Ball? It's always, almost always going to be something hurting you in the long run. But, you know, you got to suck it up. you got to play it because it's just the most versatile search card we have. Now, uh, Tom does play an N, so that's two Ns to the discard pile here early on. Uh, probably not that big of a deal. But uh, it's not that pain, or it's it's kind of painful to have to discard supporters early on. Especially when you draw in like that. Uh, so he's got a Mewtwo, two EXP shares, a, f a max potion, and two fighting energy. That is pretty brutal. You know, if he could draw into a Garbodor, that won't be terrible. But, ugh, that is a little painful from the start here. Uh, fortunately, he is going first. He's going to drop an EXP share on that benched Terrakian, and he's going to pass. And Steven will get to do something here. Now, this is a weird matchup for the Blastoise deck, depending on whether or not they play Tool Scrapper. Uh, what can happen if they don't play Tool Scrapper is if they get Blastoise into play, uh, the, the Garbodor player can actually just catch her up Blastoise since it has a gigantic four retreat cost, and it's stuck there. And they cannot use Deluge anymore. That's what, what happens when you have Garbodor out there. It shuts off all the abilities. You know, Blastoise relies on that Deluge ability to rain down energy as quickly as possible. And, you know, when you don't have access to Deluge and your Blastoise is active, well, it's stuck there. Most Blastoise decks don't play switching cards because Keldeo can just rush in. And what happens is Landorus EX can actually just sit there and hammerhead forever because Blastoise it, it has a 4 retreat cost uh, and it just it's stuck up there. So I don't know if that'll come into play here. I don't know if that's what we're going to see. Another thing is just when you limit the Blastoise deck to manual attachments, obviously it's not that great. Um, Keldeo is a Pokemon that needs tons of energy to attack. Uh, you know, it needs 3 to use Secret Sword, but you really ideally would want more to um, to power it up more. It does 20 more for each water energy on it. But uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see how quickly Tom can get Garbodor into play. Uh, and we did see Steven lead off with that Tropical Beach. So he drew until he had seven cards in his hand. Uh, and Tom, oh, he was fortunate enough to draw a Juniper off the top of his deck. So he's going to be able to attach here to his Terrakian. And Juniper discarding that Max Potion, not that big of a deal, and gets seven cards. We'll see if he can get Garbodor into play here 
with the tool if he can. This will be a huge turn of events. Uh, looks like he does have the Garbodor. Does he have a tool to go with it, though? Does not look like it, no. So this is going to open up a door for Steven to kind of, you know, this is the one spot where the Blastoise deck can win. This is the, the point where you have to go Rare Candy, Blastoise, turn two, catch up the Garbodor, knock it out, and then if you can get abilities the whole game, yeah, you're going to win because it just turns into a normal Landris Mewtwo deck. Well, in this case, it's going to have Trakian too. But it just turns into a normal kind of a deck where, you know, you can overpower your opponent. I mean, that can happen quite easily. Now, unfortunately for Steven, he has... Uh, it doesn't look like he has all the water energy he needs to attack this turn. He can get a Blastoise out. You know, he can Skyla, grab uh, an Ultra Ball or a Heavy Ball if he plays that, get a Blastoise. He has a Catcher in hand as well, um, but he just doesn't have enough energy. He has a Water and a Lightning, so his Secret Sword only does 90, and that is so painful to see. I mean, he just... Uh, he's going to be 10 short, but um, that is the cost of playing those Lightning Energy. That's the cost of playing Black Kyurem EX in this deck. You are going to run into some spots where you don't have the correct type of energy. It's unfortunate to see it this early on in the game, but looks like that's what's happening here. Uh, I only see one water in his hand, so he's just barely missing an explosive turn two. And he's going to go for the Skyla for Ultra Ball. Uh, discard a water. And a Skyla. It's interesting that he's discarding the water. He may have a retrieval in hand. Um, I would assume that's the reason why he would do that. And then he's just going to play the retrieval. Uh, we'll see. Uh, he's going to grab the Blastoise. He already has the Rare Candy that he played the Skyla for the previous turn. And he discards another Skyla. So that's triple Skyla in the discard pile on turn two. Kind of strange to see. But, you know, that's actually a good thing. Skyla is great in the early game. It is great to get your rare candy to set up. But as the game progresses, it becomes a little bit weaker every turn that passes by. Um, you would rather have draw cards like Juniper near the end of the game. And we see, oh, he's actually going for the Black Hiram instead. And he's actually just going to Tropical Beach here. Um... I'm not sure how I feel about this play. I mean, um, I, I think I would rather have him dump as many energy as possible before his, his abilities get shut off because you got to expect time to get a tool this turn and shut off abilities with Garbotoxin. And, yep, there is a Skyla, so he's going to go right for a tool. I would imagine probably a Rescue Scarf if he plays it. Um, and, yeah, I mean, you, you just want to be able to have an attacker in this situation. It looks like Steven was just... Uh, he, he might be stuck with Tunnel Vision here. You know, he's going with uh, Black Kyurem EX instead of the Keldeo. You know, he's just probably used to using Black Ballista over and over for 200. That's uh, it's good in pretty much every matchup. Except for this one, where if Blastoise gets shut off, well, you, you kind of lose. And uh, you may have to switch strategies here and go with just Keldeo instead. Since it retains its energy, it does not have to discard them every single time you attack. Keldeo may be the better attacker in this sort of a matchup. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what his plan is as the game goes on. He is 7-0, so I'm not going to question him. And uh, we'll see where this game heads from here on out. Now we see Tom attaching to his bench to Racky, and He's just getting ready to retaliate in case he gets knocked out. And he's just going to retaliate the active for 30. That poison damage is going to add up pretty nicely so that he can land crush next turn for a knockout. Uh, I guess something we'll have to look out for is, does Steven play Tool Scrapper? Uh, he's going to put an energy on his benched Keldeo, uh, catcher up the Garbodor here, and then go for a Juniper. Now, if he plays Tool Scrapper, that will allow him to discard uh, the Rescue Scarf from Garbodor, and that will give him access to abilities for the turn, so it'll allow him to Deluge. But if he does not play Tool Scrapper, that's going to be some trouble for him. He's going to be stuck only attaching one energy per turn, and like I said before, you really need to be able to attach multiple energy at once with this deck. Otherwise, you're going to fall behind to decks that are built to just attach one energy per turn, like this Garbodor deck. You know, it just plays attackers like 
the Mewtwo and Landris and the Terrakian as well that attack for very few energy because you know, well, I, I don't really need, um, I mean, I'm going to shut down everyone else's energy acceleration, so I'm going to play attackers that, co that cost less. That way I'll have a huge advantage. All right, so here's a computer search from Steven. We'll see here if he has Tool Scrapper. If he does, this will be a huge turn. And no, he's going to play Max Potion instead. So uh, I guess that answers our question. And from here, we may just see a slow, painful death of Steven because Tom has shut off abilities, and it may be that way the whole game. You know, when the format switched into Plasma Storm cards, people stopped playing Tool Scrapper because... Well, who has room for that nonsense, right? Uh, why, why play Tool Scrapper when I can play Laser? When I can play Black Cure MEX? When I can play all this other stuff? Who's going to play Garbodor, right? And Tom's like, hey, uh, I'm going to play Garbodor because you're not playing Tool Scrapper. And this is the result. <laughs> uh, you can see just how powerful this Garbodor really is when people don't play Tool Scrapper. It just takes advantage of the metagame. And, I mean, this is just going to probably be an ugly game, if you want me to be honest. Uh, we're probably going to see him switch into track in this turn. And, you know, all those attackers on Steven's bench, they just have to be powered up one energy at a time. And I don't think, I mean, both sides are going to build up attackers. And I think Tom's side is going to win just because he has those EXP shares. And that can help him out. Uh, to to get additional energy and keep him there for even when his Pokemon get knocked out. So uh, when his like, active Terrakian gets knocked out eventually, he'll have that EXP share to activate. Uh, he can take the energy off the Terrakian, put one on the Mewtwo, and put one on the other Terrakian. So he'll be able to just either retaliate with the next Terrakian or um, X-Ball with the Mewtwo. Either one works. We're, we're seeing him play a computer search here. Not sure what he's going to go for. Uh, looks like he needs an energy for the turn, so he's going to do that. He played a Skyla to grab Computer Search. Discard two cards to get an energy. Kind of a painful way to use your Computer Search, but that is actually the flexibility that Computer Search provides, as opposed to the other A-Spec cards. Uh, it just lets you search for any card, plain and simple. That's uh, pretty darn good. When you can Skyla for any card in your deck, not bad. Now we're going to see a land crush for 90 damage. That'll put that Caldeo EX up to 110 damage. Uh, leaving, leaving it with 60 hit points the next turn. Tom can knock that out pretty easily. Now Steven, he has realized the situation. He is now powering up that benched Caldeo EX. And he's going with that. Um, Got to feel like he may have missed an opportunity on that second turn to, you know, at least just put some pressure onto Tom with a secret sword. If, you know, he could have just hit the Garbodor for 90 maybe, or even just hit the track in for 90, wait until he had another energy, catch up the Garbodor. Maybe he just could have gotten rid of that thing completely and ended up winning this game with his abilities. But now he is in kind of an ugly spot, and we'll, we'll see what happens from there. Um, now, Tom, if you're him... He's going to play an N, first of all, because he's about to take two prizes. Why not do that? Uh, he's asking if I need to shuffle my deck if I don't even have a hand. The answer is yes. Pokemon is, uh, I don't know, I don't know want to say weird, but Pokemon considers your hand to be there even if you have zero cards, so you always have to shuffle when it says shuffle your hand into your deck. Even if you have zero cards, you just shuffle because um, a hand of zero is still a hand. That is what they tell us. But, uh, yeah, he's going to shuffle in and draw six. So will Steven. And if you're Tom here, you really want to go for another Trubbish this turn in case your Garbodor goes down. It, it's very easy for Steven to just have a catcher, catcher up Garbodor, knock it out, and then all of a sudden he gets his abilities back. You need to have a second Trubbish down here to prevent that. Otherwise, you could open the gates for all sorts of energy to start coming into play. And Tom does not want to see that. So this is a huge opportunity for Steven. And, oh, he draws the catcher. So he's going to catch up the Garbodor. And this is a huge turn of events. Wow. Um, Secret Sword for 110. He can also end Tom down to four cards. And I don't know. I don't know who is at the advantage at this point, honestly. Um, 
you know, Tommy, he does have the prize lead. He's going to be able to retaliate for 90 next turn for sure. Um, but now Steven gets his abilities back. He gets to deluge as much energy as he wants into play. Uh, he could power up that Black Curum, Black Ballista for 200, start knocking stuff out. He can just keep attaching more energy to Keldeos. He's got a lot of options at this point. And that is a scary thing for a guy who's just using, you know, Trakian, Mewtwo, Landris. You know, Keldeo is pretty good against that stuff, especially when they can just attach energy as freely as they want. So I don't know. Things could be turning around here for Steven, that is for sure. You know, he just sat back, manually attached to his Keldeo EX. Tom was not able to get that Landorus into play and kind of take advantage of the situation. Normally, as the Garbodor player, <clears throat> in this sort of a matchup, it's, it seems counterintuitive to use Landorus EX, but um, it's actually good when you shut off all of their abilities. You know, you can just sit there and pick things off with Hammerhead, build up your bench threats, and, you know, slowly pick away at all of their Pokemon. But instead, he had to charge ahead with Terrakian, which is also not bad. He does have the prize lead. Uh, and you got to think he's still in the advantage here. But it is a scary position to be in when Steven now has access to Blastoise and all of these very, very powerful attackers. So what's Tom going to do here? He has an N in his hand and a Juniper. He also has a Switch, a Catcher. Uh, what does he want to do here? He could just... Yeah, he's just going to hit for 90. He wants to keep the Garbodor in his hand so that he can play it down next turn. And then he doesn't care if he junipers that stuff away. Uh, kind of an awkward spot for him. He really doesn't want to discard a switch and a catcher. He doesn't want to end himself to four either. So um, I think that was the right move, not playing a support of that term. Just hitting for 90. No downside to that. We're going to see an energy retrieval from Steven. He did deluge onto the active Keldeo this turn. Uh, he's going to be able to knock out that Terrakian. He deluges two more energy on to the Black Curum EX, so that is going to be coming into play next turn. Rare Candies into another Blastoise. We'll see if he has a supporter with this. This could be an explosive turn for him. It already has been. Uh, and then we're going to see a Chorus. Yes, he will draw seven cards. So this is the makings of a comeback, folks. I mean, that Keldeo, yes, it's going to go down next turn. But... Tom does not have a tool. He does not have uh, a way to shut off abilities quite yet. His Terrakian is going to go down. Black Kyrim is looking a little ferocious out there with all that energy on it. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. And Steven will draw seven here. We'll see. He, he would like to get more energy into play, ideally. But um, I guess he has to kind of be weary of Mewtwo X-balling him. It's a kind of a weird spot. You want to put as many energy as you can into play this turn before Tom can shut off your abilities again. That's true. But if you put too many energy on the Black Kyrum, say you put six energy on there, he's putting five on there. Um, if you put six on there, Tom has the EXP share. If he just attaches a double colorless to his Mewtwo, catches up the Black Kyrum, and it's an X-Ball for 180, then you kind of lose. So putting five on there is probably the ideal number. You would love to put more on there, but um, I think that was probably the safest uh, number of energy to put there. Now we'll, we'll see what Tom can pull off this turn. He does have the Garbodor in hand, but it doesn't work without the tool. So he's going to need something here. Uh, he's going to need another tool. We've seen him go, go through at least three tools so far. There's two EXP shares on his board. The Rescue Scarf was on his other Garbodor. Normally, these decks play about five to six tools because you do need them for Garbotoxin to activate. So, it, you know, the odds... I don't know what the odds are of him getting a tool this turn, but uh, they can't be too high. And if you're, if you're Tom, you have to realize that a priority here is to get that tool into play as soon as possible because uh, you cannot allow Steven to just keep deluging onto that black harem. And you are going to lose at this point if he just does 200 damage every turn. There's no way around that. So we're going to see an Ultra Ball. Let's see what he grabs. Maybe just another Trubbish. Uh, seems like the way to go here. And, yep, looks like he's going for the Trubbish. He doesn't really want to bench a Mewtwo there because, or a Landris either, 
because then it's just two catchers and he loses. Catcher on a Mewtwo, Black Ballista for 200. Catcher on the other EX, Black Ballista for 200. That's four prizes right there and two attack. And there's no real way around that. So, uh, definitely a smart move going for the Trubbish instead of an EX. He's understanding the matchup, understanding how the prize trade-offs work in this format. Uh, this is the kind of intelligent play that has carried him to a 7-0 record so far. And we'll see. Oh, we got the Rescue Scarf. That is a big thing as well. He's going to... Let's see. Did he draw enough cards for the Juniper? I don't even know. Uh, looks like he drew one short. Oh, well. Uh, he's like, eh, I got the Rescue Scarf. Eh, I drew what I needed. Whatever. Don't need anything else, right? <laughs> Um, so he's gonna land crush here for the knockout, get two more prizes. He puts a DC on the Mewtwo, giving himself a big X-Ball option for next turn. He's gonna assume that the tracking goes down, and then just X-Ball next turn for a bunch of damage. Now, if you're Steven, all you can really do is just keep attaching and keep using Black Ballista. What else can you do at this point? In a perfect world, I guess... You would have a catcher this turn and go after the Garbodor. But instead, he's going to go after the Mewtwo. That's not a bad play either. Uh, I may prefer going after the Garbodor there if you have an N. Shut off that Garbotoxin once again. Give yourself access to uh, Deluge. And, you know, go from there. Maybe you can make some kind of a comeback. Uh, looks like he's just going to play an N here, though. And then knock out the Mewtwo, take his two prizes, tie the game up at 2-2. He's going to have to discard three energy for a Black Ballista, though. And what's going to happen is he may just be short energy, that's all. Uh, he may just uh, not have enough energy to attack. Uh, he's going to have to discard three to knock out the Mewtwo, three to knock out the Terrakian, and then what does he do? He's not going to have enough energy to finish off the game. At least he won't have enough time to attach the energy. That's what it seems like. But does Tom get another attacker? That could be a big deal here. If he can't, maybe just manual attachments can win Steven the game here. He does knock out that Mewtwo. We tie the game up at 2-2 two, two prizes. That is the power of that Black Harem EX. Black Ballista is a huge attack for 200. And now Terrakian comes up. He opts not to use the EXP share. Um, I don't think that's a forced thing, but all right, he just Steven tells him to do it anyway. Uh, so now we have a four energy Terrakian. I, I guess that could make a difference, but it probably won't. And now, I mean, what does Tom do? He just does not have any attackers beyond this Terrakian. Now all of the attackers he has left are Landris EX, and oh, he's actually going to put it down on his bench. This is opening up the game for Steven to play a catcher and win the game with a Black Ballista. But I don't know how many catchers he's played so far. He's played at least three, actually. And most Blastoise lists nowadays may have cut down to three catcher. There's just not enough space for everything anymore. So maybe he doesn't have a fourth catcher. He's looking through his discard pile. And I don't know. If he has a catcher, he actually wins the game. But... If not, Tom's going to win this one. So it all comes down to that crucial Pokemon catcher. Does Steven have one left? I guess we'll find out here. Now, of course, he does need the energy to attack, first of all. But if he has it, and, I mean, he certainly could. I don't know. Um, this game, yeah, this game just comes down to catcher. Or maybe if there's a Tool Scraper prize and he gets one out of there, that could also decide the game. He's going to take a look at Tom's discard pile. But uh, I'm pretty sure all of this comes down to is one last Pokemon catcher. Does Steven have it or not? If he does, he can bring up that Landris and win the game with that Black Ballista. Uh, if he doesn't, uh, well, he's probably going to slowly lose to Hammerhead. And here we have an Ultra Ball. He's going to discard two Junipers, take a look through his deck. And I don't think he has anything left. Uh, he's just going to grab a Keldeo here. And that's pretty much signifying that is the end of the game. Uh, unless he's just kind of thinning out his deck for a Juniper and seeing if he can draw his catcher for the win. That is something else. Uh, I didn't 
quite think about that. Maybe he's just thinning out cards. But we'll, we'll see. I don't know what he's going to do here. He's going to play a super rod as well. So maybe not. Uh, he's going to shuffle into three water energy. That's not something you would do if you were trying to draw a catcher for the win. Uh, you would not want to fill your deck with more cards that are not named Pokemon Catcher. So I'm going to assume at this point he does not have one left. And that's going to mean, uh, I think, as far as I can see, that Tom will win. Unless, like I said, a Tool Scrapper comes into play. That could also happen. So what will Steven do here? I mean, uh, it seems like he would just black ballista and knock up the track in, but then it's uh, hammerhead, 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 and he actually loses before he can power up for black ballista again. And there's no way you can run from hammerhead either. So you're just kind of in trouble. That's all there is to it. And he's just kind of locked down. It's, there's no way around it. He's just stuck. And this is just the power of Garbodor in action. You know, if if Garbodor were more popular, players definitely would play ways to deal with it. You know, they would run um, they would run Tool Scrapper first of all. They would run in Blastoise. You'd probably run Tool Scrapper and like switching cards and stuff like that. But they don't. So <laughs> this is what happens. And we just see Steven retreat to the Squirtle and pass. He's going to try to power up a Keldeo. And I don't know what his plan is with that. I mean, he really doesn't have a plan at this point. It just seems like he's going to lose. Uh, tracking does have 130 hit points, so the math is not going to work out for him to um, power up a Secret Sword for 110 and knock out the tracking in two turns. It's just not going to work out. He's going to get hit for 90 twice before... He can knock that thing out. So at this point, it just seems like an inevitability that Tom will win here. And that is just kind of, that is just kind of Garbodor in a nutshell. It's just slowly but surely it wins the race if it can shut off your abilities. And he's actually going to go for a Tropical Beach here, draw six cards. Not a bad play. Uh, he does have a catcher left in his hand. So he's just thinking, All right, I'm just going to beach. I know my opponent can't move his Squirtle. So, uh, as long as I draw my catcher, I just win. And we see Retrieval. Steven is going to pass. And that's going to be the game because Tom has that Pokemon catcher for the Black Kirami X, takes his final two prizes, and wins the game to go undefeated here at the Illinois State Championship. He will be the number one seed heading into day number two here at this huge tournament filled with tons of great players. 130 plus players, we have world champions, world finalists, national champions, all sorts of incredible players in the field, and Tom is the one who comes out on top in day number one. Congrats to Steven for going 7-1, and one. that is no small feat, and we'll see both these guys in the top 16 for day two, but until then, I'm Puka here from the Top Cut, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.